Hello there, welcome to this tutorial on SC Toots, where I'm going to show you how to make an Amapiano beat inspired by Cabza the Small, and I'm going to use only stock plugins to show you you can actually make really, really good music, even if you're using stock plugins in FL Studio. I'm Sir Classy, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. So before I show you how I put all of this together, I'm going to play this beat so you can listen to it, and then we're going to dive in. Alright, so it's all started with this drum loop, right? And then next, I got this chord progression. I used um, Citrus to play the chords and the preset is the Rhodes preset in Citrus. And this is how it sounds. The key of these beats is um, in F minor. After playing this chord progression, right, I played pads like I always emphasize in all my tutorials for beat making. You can't go wrong with pads, guys. Like pads is pads is everything. You can't go wrong with pads. And with GMS, this was what I got. If you notice, a lot of my piano beats usually have that sound playing continuously throughout the beats. And the presets I used was under pads and texture, and it was the smooth and warm TE. That was the preset I used in GMS. And after I played that part, this was how the beat sounded. I'm going to solo this right here, so you hear. And then next, right here in the hook, there's an ambient melodies. And I always say, your the way you structure your melodies is really important. You don't want melodies that clash. You want melodies that are cohesive and sound really good. So here I have an ambient app melody. That is this an app sounds. I use harmless, just a single note, just playing all through, nothing complicated there. And the preset I used was the Killer Droid Gold on that pulse pad, right? And next was a synth block. So I'm going to solo this right here. Still using GMS. You can see they are just single short notes that are just, that's why it's a pluck, it doesn't sustain too long. And some um, piano beats do use flutes in this part, but I just prefer to use more of a synthesized sound for these beats. And after the synth block, the next sound I added was a synth lead to layer it with the synth block at this point right here. But for this, I, I, I use Citrus. Still, although I is extended, the notes are a bit longer compared to the notes on the synth block from GMS.
And the preset I used here was another fat saw in um, Citrus. And this vocal sample, I went to Looperman and I got this sample from Looperman. Looperman is really easy to use. Just simply put the key of the sample you want. If it's a vocal, if it's a piano, any sound really, and it's going to get it out. So this was the sound I got from Looperman. So I, though I did chop it up a little bit just to rearrange it the way I would like it to be arranged and it was how it sounded. So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, recording vocals, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You feel a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you feel this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form, and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so for the log drum, this was how it sounded. And I layered it with Hive 808. If you know, I always talk about using layering your log drum with 808 base. It makes it more heavier, more gives it more weight and more texture. So this is how the Hive 808 plugin sounded. So I think this is the only third party plugin I use, but I think FL Studios um, Flex has an 808 preset in it. I forgot to use that actually. So this, this was it. The exact same notes. So when I play with the beats, and last but not the least is the bass. I added some bass lines in the beginning, if you noticed. So this bass, I just copied the Ama Piano pattern and just pasted it on the bass. But for the bass I use, I think it's going to be my favorite bass um, from now on for making beats. I really like the bass in FL Studios um, Fruity DX10. It's the preset FM sub. Like it's really punchy. It's kind of percussive and it has some sustain to it. So I think this is going to be my favorite bass moving on for now. I don't know for how long, but I think I'm going to be using this bass a lot. And then I also did some modifications here. Still bass. I just added the bass at the um, verse just to make it more interesting because the verse is really long. The verse is more than 16 bars. So I need to give it some extra character to make it more interesting to listen to before it got into the bridge and before it got to the hook. So for the song structure for these beats, there's literally just one verse playing. Just this song has just a single verse and then there's a bridge and a, and a hook. You can see just an intro right here, about a four bar intro. Then a verse, a verse is over 16 bars actually. It's about um, 16, 20, 24 bars for the verse, right? And then we have a bridge that is about 12 bars. And then we have a hook right here that is 16 bars, then we have a bridge, and then we have the hook repeating again, and then we have, although the hook, the second hook is not up to 16 bars, um, it's a bit shorter, and 
do have an outro that was supposed to be more like a bridge but the artist can freestyle maybe a melody line can come in like a guitar solo a guitar riff or just anything really or a chance can just play at the end right there 